A Scranton native just completed seven ultra marathons in seven days, running from his home in Washington, D.C. to Scranton. As Newswatch 16's Landon Stoller reports, he did it for his grandmother. Corey Capaloni crossed the finish line at Allied Skilled Nursing and Rehab Center in Scranton. And even though he couldn't go inside, he was able to see his 98-year-old Nana, Ruth Andres. Hey, Nana! Can you hear me? I made it! Hard to explain. I mean, it was surreal. It was a very powerful moment. Um, I'll treasure it for, the, for my, my whole life. Besides uh, my daughter being born, I think it's one of the highlights of my life. But what a week it was to get there. Capaloni is a long distance runner, but this was even tough for him. Seven ultra marathons, which are longer than regular marathons, in seven days. A 218 mile trip that started in Washington, D.C., the longest run of his career. Some people ask me, well, why, why don't you just drive to us, Grandin, and wave? You could do the same thing, but that wouldn't have been as symbolic or meaningful. And I never stopped believing in you. Having that mic and being able to tell her how much she means to me and how much I love her was just was awesome. Not you're strong. You're a strong person. As Capaloni was running, Andres was battling. She was diagnosed with COVID-19. But with her grandson pushing through, so did she. She's fully recovered from the virus. That she's amazing, that she's strong, that she's a fighter, um, that and she never gives up. And I think, you know, whether you're talking about coronavirus or what you're talking about in life, I think that's the key, never to give up hope. Capaloni calls his journey Run for Ruth, asking people to help his Nana by donating to Allied Services. He surpassed his goal of $22,000. It means the world to Allied Services and I think to this community. These are healthcare heroes that have been in the thick of this COVID crisis right from the beginning. The donations were great, but the comments with the donations uh, kept me going. All the way back home to DC via RV. I don't want to run for at least two or three weeks. Landon Stoller, Newswatch 16, Lackawanna County.